James O'Keefe spends a decade, and again, I could tell you, no one worked harder than James O'Keefe. And I was crisscrossing the country trying to grow Turning Point USA, and James and I would be passing each other literally in donors' living rooms and airport terminals, red-eye flights, and James O'Keefe was putting points on the board, and we were doing our thing to organize kids on campuses, and James would come and speak, and he was growing, and he was growing. The sacrifice that he put in to grow the nonprofit organization, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. He was, I think, vastly underpaid, vastly undercompensated. James O'Keefe, again, would travel the world, put his neck on the line. He was sued. He was raided. And building things is really hard. Taking them over is not that hard. Taking over things, you just have to be willing to be awfully Machiavellian, and you have to be really parasitic. The left is very good at it. And do you know what's even easier than taking things over? Destroying something. It takes zero talent to take apart a bicycle. Zero. It takes a lot of talent to build one. You could just take a hammer and start destroying stuff. James, your thoughts? I, I, I mean, I think a builder can, if done right, a builder can indeed build faster than a destroyer can destroy. We stood up OMG in, in um, uh, a few weeks. We have uh, a CRM of 1,200 citizens who signed up to be citizen reporters. And as much as I'd love to tell you what, what's about to come out, I'm not going to, but it's so big. We're, we're going after the most powerful people in the world. <laughs> In the world, the most powerful people, most powerful interests. And I, I think it's a spiritual war. I said this on Tim's show.